hello guys welcome to rice academy so today we are going to learn how plc programming is done using ladder logic okay so as i sh shown you in my last lecture that how a input image table store the uh, field device it is input device value in the memory okay so this is our input one this is our input two switch one switch two okay this is switch not a push button right so it will hold the value otherwise like push button it means release a value so immediately after pressing when our uh, releasing is state is done a uh, value of this last bit becomes from 1 to 0 again okay so here this will not happen is it a switch so it will act as a switch normally so it will latch the value that is means it will automatically latch that is if we press the switch button it will be there it will be one only there if it is switch on okay so again our input two that is switch two again it, again it is a normal switch and our output is a lamp for example here okay so output is a lamp so all these are one bit devices that is it takes only one bit zero or one so its last bit is reserved for its states okay so here i done some means form a table of and or not nan nor xor xnor so these are the truth tables and i made some ladders here to explain the simple load ladders these are the simple ladders so we could perform a higher level programming later on so first basically we should understand these ladders how it runs and how we actually learn how to do a programming okay these are ladder programming so why ladder programming are done in a ladder manner okay here 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 it's like it, it is a ladder stepping upward or downward it forms a ladder so it is called a ladder programming okay no rocket science behind it okay when this when you see uh, so let me explain these two things first first it is many other textbooks say it as a uh, examine if open and this they say as examine if close i'd rather prefer it as saying check if one okay and it is as check if zero what is zero and what is one here if this switch means this i'm asking the it's it for check for zero or one i'm asking its input input image tables memory whether its last bit is zero or one okay so what i'm asking is check switch one last bit is set or not set means check if it is one or not one means if a if a person switch means switched means if a person pressed a switch then from off stage to on stage then it will change this Im image table okay then it will set it as one so check if it is one if it is one means if the person is pressed this button then it will give you a true indication that is this in the if you see this in a pc then this will glow as green okay and check if this switch is pressed if not pressed it will show false if it is if it is pressed then it will show true okay if if this will become true then this call as rung what is this called a uh, rung then this rung will become true and hence this in output will become true then this output image memory 
will set as one and this output lamp is will glow okay so this is how we check if this satisfy our end to table if button is not pressed means zero check for one button is not pressed means here it will showing us zero okay so this will become false and check for switch to switch to is pressed not pressed then again here not pressed means zero so it will checking one hence it will showing us here zero so this will also become false so false false become false the output, output will not run okay this is a simple way of explaining how ladder logic works once again let me show you in this simple not gate okay how not gate is performed let us assume a switch one okay switch one is not pressed okay means not pressed means here we have zero okay we have zero and what it is checking it is checking for zero so it will give us true okay so what not gets do when zero it will give us one okay it will give us one which get not get so this will become true so output will glow so when it is pressed when it is pressed okay when it is pressed means here there will be a one okay so when it is pressed it is checking for zero so it will become false so no output will glow false so no output will glow simple let us check for and for this one one switch one is pressed switch one is pressed switch two is pressed so check for one true check for one true output will glow okay now let's go for or table switch zero is switch one is pressed not pressed checking for one false okay switch to is pressed not pressed checking for one so zero false false give us false okay this is college branching what is the advantage of branching i'll show you here if check for zero check for switch one not pressed false check for switch to pressed means true anyone is one anyone is true it will give you a true condition okay so this is the advantage of branch so it will satisfy all conditions so last check for one one both are pressed both are true both are true check for one check for one both are two go to it will give us two so switch how could we do sm for nine gate how nine gate so i can't put you put your mind that how we are not draw this tables like these letters and these logics so you have to you have to be creative and you have to be more brilliant you have to practice it so then you can perform means draw these letters okay so switch and one and switch two again for nand gate what does nand gate call not of and okay not of and means if both switch up not pressed then it show one because nand of and okay so both switch are not pressed not pressed true not pressed true check for zero true check for zero true means true how could we glow check for one check for one it should, it should not glow okay nand not for and okay not and check for for true then check for zero false because it is one check for check for one not check for here i you know check for zero but it, here it is switch to is on then it will give us false then false 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 output will not go not of and means zero 
you can verify this nor or xor gate and you can make an xnor gate okay so this is the basic logic gates and in further videos i am going to tell you how uh, means tougher and tougher programs could be done i'll solve some 5 to 10 problems for you on this basics ladder logics branching and series like problems later on we will see how a timer and counter and other is done okay thank you